Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am very excited again about this video. As you can see in the heading, this is a massive savers haul. And for those of you who might be new here, just checking this out, thanks for clicking on this video. I am a full-time working mom. However, I'm also a part-time reseller on the Poshmark app, so I make videos on fashion, beauty, mommy lifestyle, and my reselling experience as well. So if those things sound interesting to you, please consider checking out my other videos and subscribing to my channel, link down below as well. So for today's video, again, I want to share with you a huge haul. I have so many things laid out in front of me here that I want to kind of share with you some fun things I found to source my closet. I wanted to let you know that as I've said in other haul videos, I don't particularly love sourcing at Savers for many reasons. One is that it's a little bit further away from me than my Goodwills. Um, the price points I think are higher than Goodwill as well, at least in my particular area. And also they charge sales tax. And in my area, sales tax gets close to even 10%. It's like nine something percent, which is pretty high when I'm trying to keep my margins pretty low. So for those reasons, I'm not a huge saver shopper, but occasionally I like to go there just for some variety. So I went there earlier this week and I got a ton of stuff that I want to share with you guys. And I'm excited to get listed in my closet. Um, I will try to highlight some of my cost of goods in this video as well as I do in other haul videos too, just so you get an idea in terms of price point of these items and what our thrift stores are charging for them. And that hopefully will be some helpful information for you as you try to source your own closets too. If you're interested in what I list these items for, definitely check out my Poshmark closet that I've linked down below too. And you can see some items that I've already listed there. I haven't decided what I'm going to list a lot of these items for already, so I'm not going to be able to highlight that right now. But I will, of course, list in my closet soon and you'll be able to check them out there. And just to remind you too, I just basically am pulling things out from my shopping bag. So I have not prepped the items, I have not steamed them as you'll see, the tags are still on them. Please forgive all those things, but I just wanted to go ahead and show you just a basic haul. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. And I always start with shoes because that's where I kind of make a beeline for in the beginning when I go to thrift stores. I love sourcing and shopping for shoes in general. So I always go there first. Plus, if I have a cart, I like that the shoes are at the bottom of the cart when I first put them in. And then I can put my clothes and other things that I want to buy on top of them just because I don't want the clothes to get dirty with shoes just thrown on top. So for those two reasons, um, you can see everything's pretty calculated in terms of when I go thrift shopping. I definitely always go for the shoes first. So I'll start with those. And I got, let's see, a fair amount of shoes. So let me just go ahead and show you what I got. The first ones I was very happy to find. It's this um, Clark's Unstructured. And I'm sure you've seen Clark's before, but this is their classic unstructured clog style. And this is in a size, let's see, it looks like six and a half. And it's a really nice clog design, but their unstructured line from Clark's tends to resell for more than the standard Clark's variety shoes. And they're super lightweight, a lot of comfort features built in on buttery soft leather, and really no significant wear, I would say. So this was a great find that I was happy about. And this was $13.99 at my Savers, as you can see there. So another perfect shoe that I'm always looking for this time of year is... Uh, booties. Look at these. Very classic suede taupe colored booties. And this is from Steve Madden in a size 9. The style is called Plover. And it's kind of this western inspired ankle booty. Just very basic design. The condition is pretty nice as well and it was $13.99 as you can see there. And just a basic zipper in the inside. And I know you've seen the Steve Madden label before, but I'm going to try to show you labels as much as I can, just if it helps you. Um, but that's the Steve Madden label. And just a really nice versatile booty that's in great condition. And I'm excited to see how these do. I have similar booties in my closet now. They always get a lot of attention this time of year, so I'll give these a try. The next pair of shoes, maybe I shouldn't have gotten as we're in the winter months now, but sometimes you just gravitate toward things and I just can't stop thinking about them. So I figured, well, no, why not? Just pick these up. Um, this is a beautiful pair of slides. Look at this. I love the um, reptile print here. It's a size seven and a half slides. It's a leather upper. But it was really, really cute it's a pair of slides. Um, so it's the reptile print and then the suede here. It's in really good condition as well, which I particularly liked. It's from Banana Republic, which is the reason why I say maybe I shouldn't have picked them up because I don't think these resell for a whole lot. But they're only $5.49. So I thought it was a decent price point. And I do think the animal trend or the reptile print is trending now. So we'll see how these do. The next pair of shoes looks to be really in unworn condition. They're in a size six um, from Seychelles. 
but the condition there is really great. Seychelles is a brand that is sold in Anthropology and other places. Um, but I just love this particular design. As you can see here, it has the ankle strap. It has um, like a textured material here and it's mixed media. So the front is a suede material at the top in burgundy. So really cute flat shoes here. Again, it's a size six. It's a fabric offer, but also um, the balance is leather. So really great condition, very small wedge. Excited about these and these were $16.99. So again, shoes are a little bit higher price points, but in terms of their resale value, they tend to hold their value better than some other items. So I'm always really interested in picking up shoes, even if the initial price points are a little bit higher. And then moving along here, I got a pair of Blowfish sandals. So I've never tried these before, but I've heard that this brand can do okay. But I really loved the design of this. Look at this. It's a really cute um, kind of open heel and open toe sandal. It's nice for transitional months like we're in now, and I really like this leatherette, I think it's a uh, faux leather, but leatherette uh, buckle there, and it has an inside zipper, and really it's unworn, as you can see there, and the initial tags are even on here still. So this was a little higher price point because it was really good condition. It was $18.49 from Savers, but you can see that their other label from retail looks like it's still on there. And it's essentially in new condition, which is excellent. And uh, the size on this is a size 11. It's called the Warenda in terms of the design. So we'll see how Blowfish does. This is a new to me brand, but I think it resells for an okay price point. But more so, I just really like the style as well. So um, we'll see how this does. The next item was another brand that I haven't sold yet in my closet, but I just like the style and the condition. So I picked it up. It's, the, it's called Unisa, or Unisa Light. And here's what the inside looks like. And the sole says made in Brazil. It's a size 8B and it's unused. So you can see here and you can see the old tags here. So it looks like it retails uh, for $50, which is pretty good retail um, value. And it looks to be, I believe, a leather upper, I imagine, but I'll have to do some more research on this one. But in really, really good condition. The price point was $16.99 on this particular pair of shoes. Next up, I have an item that I always kind of look out for and always second guess whether I should get it or not, but I always tend to pick them up. And that is Tom's. And this is their classic design loafer, as you can see, but it's in the beautiful pink glitter. So I love the pink glitter. I have the same pair except in silver glitter because I thought it was more practical color for me, so I decided to go for that. But hey, um, this is just beautiful. Look at this. I love the glitter toms. And this is in a size seven and a half women's. And really in good condition. There's definitely wear though, as you can see on the soles here. But overall, the upper is in great condition. Um, there isn't any significant wear on the glitter. The footbed also looks good. So it was only $4.99 too, which is a decent price point. That's what it looks like on the inside. So we'll see how these do. Tom's will resale for a whole lot of money, but I think I can probably make a profit off of this and I just couldn't pass up the pink glitter. So um, we'll see how this does. So these next shoes as well look like they're only minimally worn if anything. And it's a new to me brand, at least for my Poshmark closet. But I have heard about this brand at other times um, when I'm out shopping for myself and it's born. I think it does relatively well. Um, and it's a pair of leather claws as you can see here. And the size is a size 8, which is a pretty standard size, I would say. I paid $8.99 for these. And the Born logo looks like that. But a really nice pair of leather heeled slip-on mules, which I thought was perfect for this time of year. And the condition, again, was just amazing. So I thought this was a good find. And then one final pair of shoes here. Again, looks to be unused with the label still on. And it was from one of my favorite brands that I always look for, and it's Cole Haan. It looks like this was sold somewhere else, and the retail value is $158 on the sticker here. But um, the price at Savers was $13.99. And I'm sure you've heard about this brand before. This might be an older style. I can't easily show you the logo here because it has a size 8 sticker there, but it's a size 8. And um, as you can see, it's just really really cool um, wedge design here with the wood stacked heel and it has the suede upper here 
Kohan always has really amazing comfort features built in, so I thought this might do pretty well. Um, I've had very good success with other Kohan shoes as well, so we'll see how this one does. Okay, so that does it for all the shoes. Quite a bit, but again, I totally love picking up shoes. That always happens to me. I'm going to move on into the jeans. I'm going to move a little quicker just for the sake of time here, um, but I'll show you what I picked up. The first is from a brand um, from Anthropology called Level 99. I have only picked this up once before. I don't find this as often as some other labels around here. And this particular pair of jeans, it was a size 31, it's 100% cotton. The price was $6.49, which I thought was pretty reasonable. But I particularly liked it because of the style. Look at this, it's this really cool kind of gaucho, uh, cropped, wider <laughs> like pants here. Um, so I thought it was a really cool design. It has a really neat button there. And the back has some pocket details. But I really love this kind of gaucho denim look. It's hard to show up on camera here. Um, a really good condition as well. So I was excited to find this. I love kind of unique uh, styles of denim to stock my closet with. And then the next pair of jeans was New It Tags, Joe's Jeans. Here's the tag. I don't always pick up Joe's just because I wasn't too familiar with this brand, but I had a couple other ones in my closet before and they actually got a pretty good amount of attention. So now I'm kind of trying to look out for Joe's jeans and new it tags, hey, you can't beat that. So here's the label though, if you're interested. These definitely retail for a lot at least. It's a size 25 and the colorway is honey. So it's just a very classic mid-tone denim look. It looks to be kind of a boot cut style, as you can see here, but excellent condition because it's new with tags, which is cool. This tends to be their logo on the back, as you can see on the pockets. Um, because it's new with tags, I mean, savers, they're definitely no fools, so they know that they can mark this up. So this particular pair of jeans were $24.99, which is kind of a lot, but, um, you know, we'll see how they do. It's hard to find new Tags designer jeans, at least in my thrift store, so um, I wanted to give it a try, but this is definitely marked up quite a bit, so we'll see if I can uh, make any decent type of profits on it. The next pair of jeans, I think might have been, I guess, doctored or modified by somebody, although I have to do research, I'm not sure. The jean itself is Pilcor on the Letterpress from Anthropology. So here's the tag. And it's the Slim Boyfriend in a size 31, that's what the label says. But why I think it might have been modified by somebody is look at the bottom hemline, so cool. This is super cool. Um, I'm not sure if somebody did this on their own or this came um, as is from Anthro. I need to do research. It's amazing quality stitching if somebody did it themselves. So this may actually have been intentional to be honest with you. I need to do some research on it, but um, that's why I love this jean. I love Pilcro, but also look at the bottom. I thought it was so beautiful. So as you can see here, the bottom is done just perfectly, uh, professionally as well. So even if this was not intentional from uh, the designer, hey, whoever did this, kudos to them. It looks amazing. So we'll see how these do. I think they'll get a lot of interest, that's for sure. The next pair of jeans is from BDG Urban Outfitters. I don't normally pick up this brand. I don't think they resell for that much, but um, if it has a good design and style, I will. Um, so it's a high rise, which is what I liked. Very classic, neutral, uh, mid-tone jean color. There is excellent condition on this as well, so that's also why I liked it. This particular jean is in a size uh, 28. It's the high rise twig ankle cut. So I think this style does very, very well in general. And the price point was also really good, which is why I liked it. It was $4.79. Okay, so now I wanted to move into some jackets that I found, and this time of year, I definitely need to stock up on more jackets in my closet. I looked a little bit at the thicker coats um, and heavier fabric jackets, but to be honest, I just didn't want to invest so much in those kind of jackets just because I think storage space would be a problem for me. And also, it's so bulky to mail that I wanted to start off with more lightweight jackets and see how they do. So I'll show you what I found. I saw some really cool, um, trendy items. So the first jacket that I saw was from Guess, and I don't normally pick this up, but I just like the design of this, and it's a classic denim jacket. It's Guess Premium in a size medium, and I paid $13.99, as you can see here. But there's the label, Guess Premium. So you can tell it's a good quality jacket, and I just like the colorway of denim here. It's this classic kind of gray black tone color. It has really cool distressed features, as you can see here. I just really, really like the design. And these denim jackets are so popular, I think, this time of year for a transitional period. 
It also has really nice metallic details as well. So I thought this was a nice kind of cool design. So we'll see how this does. And I think guess, at least vintage guess, I think does pretty well. I don't think this is vintage necessarily, but um, but I think that guess in general, if there's a trendy style, there definitely is a falling for it. So we'll see how this does. So the next jacket I found was from the brand Hinge. It says designed in Seattle. And to be honest, I need to do more research on this brand. I think I've seen it around. I don't know. I don't necessarily think it resells for a whole lot, but um, I wanted to give it a try. It was $7.99 in size small, but I just like this design. These lightweight kind of jackets I think are really perfect for this time of year for layering as well. So it's just a really nice, simple jacket here. It's zip-up design, so I thought it might be a good one to try. The next jacket I found was from Armani Exchange in a size medium, and it was $7.99. And it's this basic corduroy black jacket. It's a very simple design, but I thought very classic. It's kind of a blazer design with just a one button closure, as you can see here. And the back has a little bit of a back detail too, with a slip. So very classic design, but I think this obviously is a good brand too. So just excited to see how this does. I think it's perfect for this type of weather. And then the next um, item I got for our outerwear was actually a vest, and I don't have a lot of vests, but if I see some really cool ones, um, I definitely want to stock up on them. So this is from Levi's. It's a size small. It was $8.99. Here's the Levi's label. And it's just a very basic denim vest, but it was cropped, which I liked. It's also distressed on the hem lines, which I also liked. So as you can see here, I thought this would be super popular just because of the crop design too. Very basic Levi's uh, vest. And then one more bit of kind of sweater, outerwear, coat style design um, was from Caslon that I know is sold at Nordstrom. It's a size medium and it was $5.49. Here's the tag. So it's just a very basic sweater uh, kind of coat cardigan, but I just like the pattern of these kind of stripe heathered material. It has pockets and it's just an open front kind of design, but I thought it was very kind of trendy as well. Really nice for this time of year. Okay, so that's it for um, the sweaters and coats. And I wanted to take you more into kind of the pullover sweaters I got and also some tops. Um, so the first pullover sweater I got was one that I may end up keeping just because I like the design, but we'll see. I got to try it on still. It's from French Connection, which I don't have in my closet yet. But I wanted to give a try, and it is a size medium. Here's the tag. And this was $6.49, but I just like the design of this. The colorway, of course, is also nice. It's kind of grayish blue color, but it's a short sleeve sweater. I love this design here. It's kind of a dolman type of sleeve, which is also really cool, I thought. And it's a turtleneck, so perfect for the layering these cooler months. So I thought that was a really nice one and in really good condition. Sweaters can be tough because of the pilling um, and wear that they show, but um, the ones I got are in really excellent condition. So the next uh, item I got was kind of sweater-like material as well. It's from Market and Spruce, which is my favorite Stitch Fix brand in a size small. And I said before in other videos, Market and Spruce in particular does pretty well. I think I've sold through all of my Market and Spruce items so far. And this was in great condition. I do need to steam it a little bit, but it's a basic sweater, very lightweight sweater, but it is a cold shoulder. I should even say actually cold arm. As you can see here, there's an arm opening here and it ties at the bottom at the cuff. So I thought that was a really cool design. Excellent condition, beautiful colorway. And then I just have um, one more sweater and it's a black sweater. And I keep telling myself I have to stay away from black sweaters because of all the lint it picks up um, just by the nature of it. It's just so hard to prep and clean and keep clean. Um, but I just can't pass up a good black sweater. What can you say? Um, so this is Michael by Michael Kors in a size medium. There's the tag. And it is $11.99, but this is I'd say a designer piece. Um, it has a gold tone placket in the back here with the label and look at it. It's just a really beautiful turtleneck sweater that's black. But what got me, of course, is the bottom. There's some really nice fringe um, material detail on the bottom. So up next, I have a sweater from Anthropology. It's Angel of the North. 
And I'm still getting to know this brand in particular. I have one Angel of the North item, a beautiful sweater that's currently listed in my closet. But I found this, so I figured I'd give it a try. It's in a size medium. It was only $3.49, which is also what made it really nice for me. But it's this really nice um, black sweater. I definitely need to lint roll it and steam it, of course. But it has some cutout designs. And the bottom has this woven material to make it kind of have a layered effect. So I thought this would be a very basic kind of sweater for this time of year. And it's really hard for me still to pass up on Anthro brands. I know they don't resell for what they used to before, but whenever I see one, it's really, really hard to pass it up. I'll say that. So I thought I'd give this one a try. And then I have some other just more basic tops. Um, the next one is from a brand that I always look out for. It is from Sundance. It is a size small. So Sundance, I believe, is a catalog brand. They also have some retail, retail stores as well. I've seen some around. And there definitely is a strong following for Sundance. I've sold several Sundance items. I currently have a couple in my closet now, in case you're interested in checking them out. But I found this really nice, um, very simple shirt. It feels uh, kind of like a mixed media type of material. It's 100% cotton, just in really excellent condition, perfect for layering. And it has some really nice seeming details, as you can see. And it's a really great uh, colorway. I probably paid too much for it though. Um, I didn't realize how much it was. I just got excited when I saw it, but it's $11.49. So that's quite a high price point, but um, Sundance definitely retails for a decent uh, price as well. So we'll see how this does. So the next item is another woven shirt from a brand that I don't always pick up, but it was $5.49. It's Sanctuary and size medium. I know this is sold at Nordstrom, potentially other places as well sanctuary and I just kind of like the design of this one um, it's a really kind of boho type of design pattern of this shirt and it has some nice cuff ruffle details here you could wear this off the shoulder I believe or even on your shoulder there's this elasticized band of the neckline uh, really cute ruffles at the bottom too and I thought it was a really nice kind of um, floral pattern but good for the fall winter months because of the colorway the next item I picked up was from a brand that I'm not familiar with that I need to do research on. I don't imagine it resells for a whole lot, but I'll have to see. It's Finn and Grace. So if you guys are familiar with this, definitely let me know. I'm just curious about this brand. Um, I'll try to show you the tag here. It's in a size small. It's called Finn and Grace. And I really like this from the design, but also it's new with tags, as you can see, which is always extra special. Um, it was $7.99, so I probably paid too much too, but... Um, look at this. It's a really nice design, similar to the last top that I showed you, um, but I just love these beautiful pink colorways. Similar cuff detail as the last blouse, but just a really, really basic blouse. I think it's perfect for work. Um, if this isn't very popular on Poshmark, I may just keep it for myself. I think um, you can pair a lot of really nice uh, bottoms with this that'll look really, really cute. And like I just said, I can't pass up Anthro bands, even though I don't know if they're going to sell that great. Um, the next one is Metal Rue in a size large. It's another Anthro brand, of course, Metal Rue. There's a tag. And this one was $3.99, so not a bad price point. But I did like the design as well. It's just a basic floral pattern, but I think it's okay for fall and winter as well because of the darker way of color here. And it has this nice crochet neckline detail, so really gorgeous um, design there. So up next, I have a brand that I swear I was not going to pick up anymore, but I just couldn't pass up the style, of course. Um, it was $4.49, and it's Skies Are Blue in a size small petite, SP, so this might be a petite, actually, but Skies Are Blue. And this particular um, brand doesn't really sell well for me. I have several items in my closet, but I'm always a sucker for it because I really, really like the designs. So, you know, I picked it up again. I caved. Um, but look, isn't it such a cute um, top? It's a sheer top, so you probably want to layer something under it. But it has some elasticized cuff detail. It's kind of this ditzy paisley print, which I thought was really cute. And I like this Henley type of look in the front with some pleating details. So really gorgeous details. So we'll see how this does. But I do really, really like this design, especially for this time of year. And then I have just one final kind of basic top. It's from a brand I do love. It's Joie, J-O-I-E, in a size large. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but I have a couple items in my closet from this brand that definitely is popular. I haven't sold any yet. I just have two other pieces, but they get a lot of attention, and the resale value is pretty decent on these items. Again, this is in a size large, but I love these kind of dark 
colorway floral prints for this time of year. Just perfect for the season, I thought, with the black background. This is a very basic woven um, kind of Henley style placket here in the front. It doesn't button the whole way, but I just love the design and print of this. Okay, so that does it for the top. So I'm quickly going to move on into dresses. So the first dress was from Maggie London in a size 6. It was $9.49, as you'll see here. But here's the tag, Maggie London. And this is a brand that retails for a decent amount. I just love this design though. It's a very classic style wrap dress with a self belt, as you can see here. But really nice length as well, which I am always looking for in these classic dresses. I may end up keeping this as well to wear to work. I think it's a perfect work dress in excellent, excellent condition. So I thought this was a good one to pick up. The next dress, it's Black Label J. Crew. It's in a size 6 and it was $13.49. Here's the tag, J. Crew. And you can just feel its amazing quality. It's kind of a Ponte type of fabric, I would say. Just a really basic dress with a beautiful skirt, as you can see here. I love the length. I think it's very modest and appropriate. It has um, some really nice seaming details, a gorgeous zipper down the back. A very basic design, but I love the material. I love the color. And when I'm going to do color like this, I always look for just a very basic design. I don't want to be too loud because the color itself speaks for itself. So I'm looking for these very basic kind of shift type of style dresses, but it does have some beautiful pleating on the skirt. So just a really, really gorgeous dress in excellent condition, as you can see as well. The next dress is another beautiful dress, of course. It's um, Artelier uh, Nicole Miller, it says. So I need to do a little bit more research on this brand. Of course, I know Nicole Miller, but I need to figure out what this um, line is from. It's a size small. But this dress was only $5.49, so that was a great price point. But it's this beautiful short sleeve sweater dress. So let's see. I may be able to squeeze into this. Um, I do really love it. It's in excellent condition. I love this kind of geometric floral kind of graphic print. It's a very nice length. I'm really into these midi length dresses. I think they're really appropriate for work. I love to cover my knees. Um, so I love this type of length. So this dress has a really nice zipper that's part way down the back, but in excellent, excellent condition. So just a gorgeous, gorgeous piece here. The next item that I found is not technically a dress, but it was in the dress section, and it's a beautiful um, full length pants romper. Love rompers. If I can ever find a romper, I definitely snatch it up if it's in good condition. Um, just because they do really well. Even if the brands aren't anything spectacular, rompers, at least in my experience, just really move really, really quickly through my closet. Um, and this is a pants romper, so perfect for this time of year. And it's from Ann Taylor Loft in a size 10, and it's new with tags. There's the label. And it is retailing for $108, um, so an amazing find. And I paid uh, $25 for it. So definitely paid up, but um, just look at it. It's new with tags. I love this gray tone. It has a front uh, chest pocket. It's just a pull over, pull on type of design. It has elasticized waistband and pockets, of course. And the pants here you'll see is kind of a jogger design with the elasticized cuffs or ankle openings but a full length or maybe slightly cropped. We'll see how this does. I think it's probably gonna get a decent amount of interest. I definitely know that um, it's a great uh, style. So uh, we'll see how this one does. The next dress was a pretty basic one, but I just thought it was kind of cute. It's from the brand Sanctuary, which I already mentioned in this video from, um, I know it's sold at Nordstrom, maybe other places, in a size small. There's the tag. And these Nordstrom brands, in general for me, do pretty well. Um, this was $5.99 at Savers, and it's just this very basic kind of baby doll shift style dress. It's uh, spaghetti straps that are adjustable, but I like the colorway. This basic black and white is definitely my style, and um, it's kind of a shorter dress. So the next dress was in my favorite type of print or pattern, and that's animal print. So this is a dress from... Calvin Klein, it's $13.49 at Savers, and it's a size 10. Let's see if I can show you the tag here. You can see some of it there. Calvin Klein, size 10. And it is beautiful. It's another wrap design, which I think is popular. 
And the animal print, as you know, is very trendy now this time of year, but in general, and it's a nice wrap design with a self-tie belt, which is uh, right here. So it doesn't photograph too well now, but um, it's a really nice dress. It's long sleeve as well with some button details at the cuffs. And it is, I'd say, a little bit of a longer length too, which is something I'm always looking for. So very nice, basic, uh, versatile piece. And then I just have one final item. This is a marathon haul, I know, but I found some good stuff. Um, the last item is from Studio M in a size extra small. And I don't typically pick up this brand either, but I like the basic uh, design of it. It is new with tags as well, so which is why I picked it up. It's a product of Mac Studio. The retail price is $118. This looks kind of like a Macy's tag, although I'm not sure exactly where this was from, but it's new with tags. And I just like the design. Very basic black shift style dress, but you can feel it's good quality, of course. And at the bottom, look at the detail um, perforations, cutout details. That's kind of why I liked it, to give it a little bit of flair. So I love these little black dresses. We've made it to the end. Thank you for watching. I hope you've watched at least some of this in terms of um, what types of items I was excited to find at Savers. So if you have any questions about these items, please leave your comments down below and I'll definitely get back to you. Otherwise, thank you for sticking through this ultra long haul video. Um, I hope you found it helpful for you as you're sourcing your closets and seeing kind of what trendy items are out there now. And if you haven't done so already, please consider checking out my other videos. Leave this one a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel as well. I'd really, really appreciate it. Otherwise, thank you for watching and I will plan to see you again in my next video. Bye!